what's going on guys it's your boy ntg back it again with another video in today's video i'm going to be going over this gold trade that i took 3000 to 11k i'm gonna be putting the profits right in the middle so you guys can follow along with the market this trade was so quick it was like less than five minutes when we entered this trade and i held it a little bit longer so i can flip the account this was a very very simple trend line breakout trade using the fib extension so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be talking a little bit of psychology because a lot of you guys are still a psychological way of trading in the markets. OK, guys, you guys are still struggling with that. You guys are still making the same mistakes. You guys are still doing these bad habits, trade batting habits that's setting you guys back even further. So if you guys are still struggling with that, I advise you guys to really listen to this video because. This is where everything comes into play when you have a system, but you cannot execute it because your psychology is not where it needs to be. All right, guys. So make sure you guys hit that like button for your boy NTG. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more content. I'm going to be dropping two more live trades with VIP. The Academy will be open tomorrow. So if, if anybody's interested, the Academy will be open tomorrow. And the link is in the description. All right, guys. So you guys already know how we like to do it. We're going to roll the intro and get straight into the video. Let's get it. All right, guys, so here we are on gold. Now, this this did not take long. Like I said, it took five minutes less for this gold to take off. You're going to see within the next 30 seconds, you know, gold just launch off and i'm going to be putting the profits probably right in the middle the left right wherever i see fips best and i'm going to be talking to you guys on a one-on-one -on -one, right because you guys are still like making the same mistakes as you were when you first started right wait let's take way back 2021 right we're in 2022 it's already almost three months you're going to hit march into 2022 and a lot of you guys are still making the same mistakes when you guys are placing your trades. Some of you guys are still creating these bad habits of greed. OK, you're not being disciplined in your trades. A lot of you guys are setting yourself back mentally. Now, you guys have the system. You have a trading plan. You listen to all of my psychology videos. You know exactly what you need to be doing, but you're being held back in your journey because like you're you're still doing the mistakes that anti-g told you not to right like you're still over leveraging you're like oh man anti-g told me not to do that but i'm gonna do it anyway right you start to feel good about yourself after a couple win winning trades and then you start to over leverage right you don't withdraw your money you just start to over leverage and then you end up giving your profits right back into the market a lot of you guys are like ignoring red flags in the market confirmation you guys are just doing a lot of mental gains to yourself that is jeopardizing your trading. And I don't want you guys to get out of this cycle for the longest time. I've been telling you guys, don't over leverage. Take your journey slow. Make sure you hold your trades into profit. Don't get scared to enter your trades. Trust your system. Back to study. And a lot of you guys are not putting in that work. OK, you guys got to understand. I know some of you guys are busy. You guys are struggling a little bit. But you have to put in the work that is required as well. OK, you can't just do 10 minutes of trading and think you're going to become a pro trader. You can't just do 30 minutes, an hour of studying and think you're going to be a pro trader. You can't just watch five of NTG videos and think you're going to be a pro trader. That's not how life works in general that's not how life works like you don't just get to do little things and then all of a sudden you're the best at it no it requires hard work it requires discipline dedication and it requires a lot from you to put in those hours of work okay but on the standpoint of that i wanted to talk about everyone's discipline because everyone is lacking discipline and even in my members group they are lacking the discipline, right? They have the system, they get the analysis, and they still are not following the plan, right? When NTG tells them, hey, be careful. Do not over leverage your account. The market is very weird today. Okay. And then you guys take the perfect opportunity to over leverage your account and not listen. Sometimes you guys just jeopardize yourself. You guys put yourself in the same loop that you don't want to be in. 
you tell yourself that, you know what, I'm going to change. I'm going to start doing the proper risk. I have my account ready. I'm ready to be professional. And you tell yourself this, and that's okay. I mean, you guys are growing, but you guys tell yourself this all the time. And then when it gets to the trading, you guys start to lose yourself, right? And it's like a, it's like it's like a it's like a process. Like it's either you tell yourself you're going to be disciplined and then out front, right? When you get into the trade, you're not disciplined anymore. You just like over leverage, you pushing all in the markets. Go big or go home. Or you 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 are disciplined, right? And in a couple of trades you stay disciplined, you're risking like 2%, like you're winning small trades, you're feeling good, you're like okay, like this is how it's supposed to be. And then you guys get a little bit too overconfident or you get a little bit too greedy. And then that starts to kick in, right? And you start to feel good. You see that blue. Then you start thinking about all the goals, all the dreams that you want to live. And then you start to lose yourself, right? Now it's starting to become the bad psychology, you know? You start to lose yourself and you start to do things that you're not supposed to be doing, right? You start to enter into the market when you're not supposed to you guys saw how you see you guys see on the on the one minute and the five minute you see how big that candle is you see how fast gold is moving a lot of you guys will just jump into that right you guys will jump right halfway into it you guys will jump into the peak of it some of you guys would sell it like you would chase the market and you just like throw your plan out the window it's like it's like your system doesn't even exist anymore right like you had a perfect clear vision of what your plan was. And then as soon as the market moved, it like disappeared. It's like, it's like you get possessed. Like the markets possess your brain and you develop this just habit of bad psychology. And then you just start doing these random things. And then like you don't wake up. You don't wake up until your trades close and losses, right? When it closes and a loss, that's when you wake up. You're like, you're like, wait a minute, what? Why did I enter so aggressive? Why did I do this? Why why didn't I get out this trade? Why and you start asking yourself like why I didn't do this? Why I didn't do that? You guys are you guys are like just creating this this thing in your brain where it like takes over. And you guys got to get out of that habit, okay? And there's a lot of reasons why that happens to you. I mean, it can be it can be, you know, you just don't have a, the correct system. You don't have discipline. There's too much greed in your mind. So like you guys are like thinking about all the things that you want. You're trying to force the market to give you the things that you want. And of course, ultimately, 100% of the time is not going to work, right? The market is not going to just give you guys money. Remember, guys, you have to understand the concept that when you guys are tra placing a trade, okay, <laughs> when you are opening a position, it is a risk. And it's, it's a risk because the market is going, wants to take your money. It doesn't want to give you guys market money, okay? Remember that, remember that, guys. When you guys are entering trades in the market, the market wants to take your money. It's not, it's not giving money to anybody. So you have to be able to be as disciplined as possible because you're going to make it easier for the market to take your money when you guys are, are lacking discipline. You're lacking the skills, okay? You guys see my videos and you're like, okay, now I'm going to be like NTG. NTG has been doing years of work, okay? A lot, a lot of work. And the VIP members can tell you this as the truth, okay? They've seen me live trade. They live trade with me, okay? And I always tell them that when we get off VIP, okay, it's going to be a little bit different when you place trades because now NTG is not going to be with you anymore. He's going to be with the next month of VIP. You're going to be trading by yourself. I want you to keep your psychology up. Do all these things that you promised me to do. And they promised me that we get a contract. And sometimes they still break those promises. Okay, which is normal. It's part of the journey. But there has to be a time where you guys wake up and you guys really, really start to take this serious. Okay, I want you guys to take this serious. This is this is not a game. This is not. This is not an easy one, two, three pickup job that you're going to be able to do consistently forever. OK, no, that's not what it is. This is consistent of work. You guys got to understand that and you guys got to understand that this is going to take you some time to develop. But 
if you're going to continue to play in a cycle, you're not going to get to where you need to go. OK, you're going to take two steps forward to take 10 steps back and you're going to take another step forward to take 20 steps back. And then you're going to just keep taking steps back instead of forward. So you guys have to make the decision for yourself. OK, to change, to become disciplined. Okay? Like I said, guys, this is a journey. OK, you guys have to really take this serious. And I know you guys want to see like you know, all the ultimate strategies, this new indicator strategies, live trading, price action, and that's, and all of that is good. But this is what you need to hear before you even get to that step. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many live trades I drop on the channel, how many indicator strategies I drop on the channel. There's a lot of things that you guys are not going to be able to pick up. If you guys are still staying in the same cycle, okay? I want you guys to remember that you have to change within yourself. You have to do it. You have to be disciplined. I'm not going to continue to repeat myself, guys. You have to be disciplined. And you know this. You know this. You know that you have to be disciplined. And you keep letting yourself down. Because you guys just let yourselves do what you want. You got to be disciplined. And when you're not disciplined, you have to take accountability. Okay, guys, you have to take accountability. You have to do something for to realize, like, you know what? I lost this trade. I wasn't disciplined. No, ne no Netflix today. Like, you have to do that stuff to yourself to drill that discipline within your brain. Okay, because if you left, if you let yourself off the hook so many times, it's not going to mean anything. Like when you lose a trade, it's like, oh, it's okay. And you're just going to continue that cycle. Like, no, like when you do something that's out of character or that's wrong, you have to take the accountability and you have to be able to accept the punishment. Okay. The punishment is losing money, but you have to do more. You have to do more for yourself in order to stay disciplined. So maybe you guys should definitely try that. You know, if you're not being correct, you're not following your system. You know what? Normally, I like to eat like a nice cookie after dinner. No cookie tonight. And and I know that may sound ridiculous, right? It may sound ridiculous to you guys, but it's true. It definitely helps. It definitely helps your brain to be like, OK, wait a minute. Like if I'm not disciplined. You're going to take away my reward. OK, so do you have to just find different ways to. To make you guys be disciplined, all right, and whatever way works for you, just do it. But if you don't get over that step, you won't be able to catch trades like this, like NTG does all the time. You're not going to be able to do it. OK, you're just going to continue to stay in the same cycle. And I know a lot of you guys are not going to watch this video or you're not going to hear it to the end. And if you are here to the end, then I really do appreciate you. And that that shows me that you actually do want to change as a trader. And you will. You just have to give it time and you have to just remember the words that I tell you to do when you guys are in a trade. All right. And for those who are not here, well, they're not here. They won't get the whole message and they will probably continue to stay in the same cycle that they are in right now. Just looking for that golden strategy, looking for the easy way out. And there is no easy way out, guys. It's all work. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> all right. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope I hope that was able to, you know, change some mindsets, make sure you guys are on the right track as far as trading psychology. That's why I wanted to start the week off with just trading psychology. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to have some more trade breakdowns. I got two trade breakdowns, but I wanted to do some psychology today because you guys definitely need it. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you guys today. I will upload a video tomorrow of a NAS live trade and we can go back to some price action with that video. All right, guys. So it was your boy NTG and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow and I'm out. Peace.